A Miami man is facing a dozen charges here following a police chase during which the highway patrol says he fired at a state trooper at least four times. Daryl Carley was taken into custody by Jacksonville police after crashing into a light pole on Zoo Parkway early this morning. New at 6, it appears he recorded himself driving close to the time of the pursuit and posted this video to social media showing his odometer at close to 120 miles an hour. Among the charges Carly now faces, attempted murder, felony drug possession, and DUI. News for Jack's reporter Ann Maxwell is joining us live from the scene of the crash that ended the chase. Ann? Tom, police say Carly ran that Dodge Charger into this light pole here. You can see the tire marks. This sign brought down. There are some bits of debris also on the ground. According to the arrest report, Carly appeared to be out of control of the car and himself. The spokesperson with FHP says it's a miracle no one was hurt. We want I-95, baby, all the way. Over the course of five hours, from about 8 p.m. to 1 in the morning, Daryl Carley appeared to shoot cell phone video from behind the wheel, showing the odometer reaching high speeds. Florida Highway Patrol reports they got multiple calls about a car speeding and weaving through traffic on I-95. By the time FHP says a trooper approached the car when it was stopped on the Fuller Warren Bridge, it was about 12.50 a.m. It appears that was around the time Carly posted videos of an odometer reading close to 120 miles per hour. According to an arrest report, Carly's New York license was expired and the car didn't have plates. The report says Carly told the trooper he was traveling from Miami to New Jersey and thought he was too hours south of Charlotte, North Carolina. FHP says Carly drove away from the encounter, at one point stopping and shooting at a trooper four times with a stolen gun before driving away again. Fortunately, nobody was hit, nobody was hurt in this particular case. A News for Jack's viewer says he saw dozens of vehicles pursuing Carly. Intensity of the FHP vehicle that told me that like, something major happened. The chase ended with a crash on Zoo Parkway. FHP reports they found a felony amount of marijuana in the car and a white powdery substance suspected of being cocaine or fentanyl. One of the arresting officers reported Carly had a hard time keeping a conversation and would talk wildly off topic, veering from appearing normal to yelling, screaming, crying, and many times talking as different characters. They said he appeared not to grasp what had just happened. Records show Carly was not booked into the Duval County Jail. It's not clear where he is being held. Live on the north side and Maxwell Channel 4, the local station.